Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I will be painting my last spring flowers painting bookmarks in this series and maybe I will do more later on but for now that that will be it. I will also put the links for the previous ones in the description box. And in this video we will be painting snowdrops. I'm using Claire Fontaine Fontaine watercolor paper. It's a cold press watercolor paper and it is a sheet of 20 by 40 centimeters that is I think somewhere around 9 by 15 and a half inches so I've divided the paper into six parts six bookmarks and in this video we will be painting three of those all the materials I will be using are listed down in the description box so of course you can check them out also with the affiliate links of mine so if you want to purchase some of those supplies and do it by clicking on my link then I will get a small commission and will be very grateful because that is also the way that I finance myself and of course these videos as you could have seen I'm starting off this one with making my sketch drawing some snowdrops I did draw it a little bit darker so you could see it on camera but after drawing it I'm just using my artist eraser, needed eraser and lighting my sketch. And after that I'm using a masking marker to mask my flowers because I want them to stay white and it is pretty much easier to do that by using masking fluid or masking marker than to try to avoid the part where the flowers are. If you don't have a masking marker, well, there is one suggestion I would give you. Maybe you can use washi tape and glue it onto a plastic foil that you can cut or some paper that it's not printing paper, but some a little bit more resistant paper and cut it into the shapes of your snowdrops. And after that, just take it off and glue onto your watercolor paper. That is the way that you can also preserve your white and later on when finished with background just take it off, take your washi tape off and you will be left with white snowdrops. Because I used masking marker to mask my snowdrops, I do not need to leave it to dry because fluid in masking markers dries in a matter of seconds. So right away I can start my painting and I did start by preventing the entire paper and after that painting the background with sepia at first in my right corner and after that I'm using Venetian red to paint the left side and raw sienna to paint the part around the sun. The part around the sun I'm painting in circular strokes because I don't want that part to look as though there's just glow from the sun going in that round shape. And sepia with the sepia I'm painting in also into my snowdrops to well to make it look as there the colors from that background from the sky is going into my snowdrops. Later on I'm using sap green and painting in the part where my grass and meadow is. This time I'm just mimicking those shapes of grass and stems. That is the reason why my strokes are vertical. Also for the part of the meadow I'm using sepia and trying to add some shadows and texture to it not to make it only green because that wouldn't be believable and much realistic. I do want for some snowdrops to look as though they are further away and maybe blurred so I'm using white gouache and in lower part where my grass and meadow is adding some snowdrops shapes just to make an impression that there is also few more snowdrops that are not in focus. Right now I'm sprinkling some white paint, some white gouache, because I think that will just give that special effect to it and it, would, it will just bring it to life. Thank you. 
after the paint just slightly dried, not completely, but slightly, I'm adding some more grasses into my meadow and for that I'm using script brush and sap green because I want these stems, these, these grasses to look just a little bit more in focus, not so blurred and that is the reason why I left my paper to dry just a little bit. I'm also adding a raw sienna there to make some difference and sepia. After my paint completely dried, and that is a must, your paper should be completely dry. I'm removing my masking fluid and for that I'm using just a regular eraser, a little bit harder, so it can remove that masking marker. But of course you can, you can also use your fingers to remove it. Tops of my snowdrops I'm painting with a mix of raw sienna and Venetian red. Later on I'm mixing my sap green and sepia in a pretty light wash and just adding it to the part where the petals are of a snowdrop and I'm not painting the entire flower with them but just the top of the middle petal and somewhere around on the left or right petal. Just making the impression of shadows because on snowdrops we're there since they're white we're not actually painting them but just painting in the shadows of them For stems of the flowers I'm using raw sienna and also script brush because I want those stems to be very thin and of course you can use a round brush with a pointy tip. I'm also painting the leaves on some of them and also using the same color. In the lower part of the stems I'm adding a little bit of sap green to make it a little bit darker. Later on I'm adding a couple of more grass in lower part and this time they will stay in focus, they won't be blurred.
with couple of more details I'll be finishing off this painting and also this video. Thank you a lot for watching, for supporting me and if you like this video please like, share it, comment, tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, maybe give me some suggestions, what would you like in my future videos and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell because that will make sure that you don't miss any of my future videos and well I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!